Hi everybody, so this is a small introduction to the Rome Highlighter extension. And let's just imagine I'm reading this very interesting article about remote organization. Uh, and if I have the Rome Highlighter installed, then you have the small icon here on top. You can just click this and then you see the widget here on the bottom right. And inside the widget you have the title, which you can change. So let's say I don't really like this word data behind. Um, and you can add text. So for example, I can add the text inbox. And if you don't make any highlights on the web page, then you can just copy it as a bookmark. And the format for the bookmark is very simple. So you just have the link and then you have the text behind that you set in the highlighter extension here. But how about highlighting on the web page? So it's very simple. Again, I can launch the icon here or I can use a shortcut that I set myself in the um, uh, extension settings. So not inside here, but in the Chrome extension settings uh, tab. And if I want to do highlights, it's very simple. I just select text on the web page and then it will automatically clip to the word that you are um, in at the moment. And you can just go on, um, add some text and um, then you can remove it if you want by just clicking on it and then deleting it. I'll add a little bit of more and also I will add something with the link inside so you can see it here the link and let's see how the extension will deal with this. So if I'm going to paste this in now you can see that um, you have links perfectly inside so it's just rendered as normal markdown and here I'm having like the normal link. Here's a hashtag inside so this will then of course render a new site in um, in Rome but uh, yeah it's just I think how the article was written yeah okay so um, now to the interesting part what can you do further than that so what the extension allows you in the settings is to customize the format in which you want your highlights to be copied so you can basically uh, bring in your own workflow on how you want to do the highlights and I was just going to I was just going to show you um, how I would do it. So what I'm going to do is add a new placeholder and this placeholder I will put into brackets and this placeholder will be author. So if there's an author for let's say the article then it will be put inside here and then I will add two more things. So I will add the text here um, and I will also add a tag for myself and this will be Rome highlighter and then I will indent this one here under highlights and you have to do it with spaces so there's tabbing is not possible um, and then I will also uh, put on the dark mode and here you can see the two more settings you can have at the moment the one is about formatting so you can say if you want to have formatting like italic or bold inside your highlights or turn it off and you can say if you want that the extension automatically opens the next open Roam tab. Um, and I will just leave this on here. And then I'm going to make a couple uh, random highlights throughout the text here. And then input for some text for myself. So learning books, copy five highlights. And you will now see that I have my own workflow. Um, I have my own format here. Here are the text, here are the highlights and everything is nested in between. And I also have a new page for Mike Walsh. So this is the author of this article. And in that way you can basically set your own workflow and put your own workflow um, onto the extension. And um, yeah, so just a disclaimer, the extension is in some kind of early phase. And uh, if you find some bugs, if you have some feedback, then please forward them to me uh, either over Twitter or email or to the um, web store. I think you can also do um, feedback there. And uh, yeah, so then have fun with the highlight extension.